Cuties, it's Lady Aethra here with another video. This one is a little bit of multimedia play. Um, I'm going to be using some gouache paint, some colored pencils, they're uh, watercolor pencils, and these mechanical pencils a bit as well, um, and also some Posca markers, just a little bit. Here I'm picking some reference images and they happen to be photos of a couple of my pets which you'll see in just a moment. I was inspired to do this after watching a couple of other art youtubers videos and those would be videos by Gel Arts and Catfalk. They've both been doing kind of a multimedia play sort of thing lately and it got me really inspired. I wanted to also try to use those pearlescent watercolor inks that I got in the palette pack unboxing as well, but I ended up not having a lot of time the night this was recorded, so I actually didn't get into those. This video will be pretty brief um, and will only be two small paintings, um, but I hope that they'll be interesting for you and <laughs> that you'll enjoy the outcome. I'm just starting with a little box. I'm not going to be using up this whole sheet of paper. Um, the other reason that I am doing this kind of multimedia experiment is that, like I touched on in my last video, something I've been struggling a bit with is trying to find my style as opposed to just copying a photo. Um, I'm trying to get to that point where someone can see something that I made and know immediately that it was something I made. So to that point I wanted to create just a couple of Pretty simple. I, I keep wanting to say illustrations, but they're technically paintings since I use gouache paint. Um, just to kind of play around and see how I feel about this simplified kind of cutesy style. It is still fairly detailed, but not so much so that it seems like I'm trying to copy the photo completely, like it, it's not something meant to be photorealistic by any means. And it doesn't look like it's trying to be either. It doesn't look like I just missed the mark with what I was going for. I'm about to jump into the inking here and just adding a couple of details. Yep, here we go, starting with the box. This one in particular is very simple because it is just her two feet <laughs> sticking off the side of the cat tree. But I really wanted to focus on the cute little cat toes and the cat foot pad, um, toe beans as you will, which is very suiting for <laughs> the cat since her name is, her name is Bean. Um, and bean is short for vanilla bean. Bean is a calico cat, so she does have some kind of splotchy patterns on her body and legs and everything, but I didn't want to draw in those details. I instead, oh, here's a look at the inking. I instead wanted to just go in with the paint directly so here I am with a pretty bright kind of orange color that I mixed from, I think, a tan and a little bit of orange from the gouache. Speaking of the gouache, I got this great jelly gouache set from my good friend Jen. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you might know who Jen is, but if you don't, check her out. She's Jen's Paint and Pour on Instagram. That's Jen's dot paint dot and dot 
core and it actually might be Jen's paint and more. Either way, I'll link her Instagram in the description. She's super, super sweet and she's talented and I love her to death. As you can see, even though the cat tree is gray, I went in with a blue instead and here's a closer look at that with just the orange, the white, and the blue so far because I thought the blue would be a nice contrast to the orange. It keeps the piece kind of bright and happy. And I did step away for a moment and came back and changed the camera angle so hopefully it's a little bit easier to see what I'm doing. And right now I'm going in with a light kind of baby pink to fill in those um, foot pads and little toe pads. <coughs> Uh, Bean does have a light pink skin tone with just some dark spots here and there. And now I'm going in with the black as well to add her black spots, both on her fur and her little toe beans. And now I'm starting with the picture of Toffee. She was so cozy, all curled up in a ball on the sofa, and I just thought it was too cute. Instead of focusing on... The details of the blanket that she was laying on I end up just making the whole background blue and it just looks like she's so cozy just floating in some kind of dream space of just blue fluffiness toffee is we believe a toy fox terrier which I think is really suited to her because she does look like a little fox in fact, at this point in the illustration, she looks more like a fox than a dog. And here I am adding just that nice fluffiness around her and her little pointy ears. We've had Toffee, it, it can't have been a year even by now. She is a rescue and she's had a lot of changes in growth since we took her in. She's doing a lot better than she was before. And we're just really happy to see how she's going. See right now, <laughs> the drawing, she kind of looks like an arctic fox. Those little white foxes that live in the snow. This video was also made from a live stream just like the last one. And there will be some standalone videos. They won't all be edited down VODs from Twitch. But for now, when the only time I'm really able to work on art, art content is also when I have a chance to stream, that will be the case. I do work full time, so I only have limited time. And I've also had a lot of internet connection issues lately so it's actually been hard even to stream and kind of get things set up. I like to have something on in the background while I'm editing the videos so it's been a bit frustrating trying to work on this with my internet going in and out but thankfully I think it is at least almost fixed right now. I will keep you updated and I'll hopefully stream technically today when this video goes up it'll be Saturday um, I will try to stream the new painting I'm working on you might have seen a sneak peek of it already if you follow me on Instagram um, if you don't check out the link tree in the description all of my socials will be there my website will also be there though it is temporarily down while I put off reconfiguring some of the inventory. Um, I really need to get it back up, but I have a few plans long term for my store. Um, one of the things I want to do is replace most of the acrylic pours. I've actually pulled several out of my inventory to paint over. Um, for a number of reasons. Um, one of which being 
I don't do acrylic pouring anymore. I feel like there's nothing wrong with it. It's just something I've moved on from and I can't see myself getting back into it. Oh, here I am going in with the colored pencils and eventually the Poscas as well. Adding a bit of detail, trying to make Bean's legs and Toffee's body look a little fuzzy. Like it's actually fur. But that said, I'm up, I'm working on my website. I'll keep you guys updated to when it's back up. I also want to replace the findings on all of my jewelry with good metal, not cheap metal that causes irritation. So that's one of my long-term goals. I'm going in, adding a little bit of pink where it's needed for Toffee's ears little bits of black and white and a nice cream color for her orange spots adding a little texture to the blue and then I'm going to take you on in for a close-up here's the beans here's the little puppy dog adding a little bit more detail and in for another close-up in just a moment Thank you so, so much for watching. Check out my links in the description. If you want to see more, like, follow, subscribe, do all the things. And above all, don't forget to stay charming. Thank you and have a great day.